Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here, and I just received a call letting me know that there's some baby chicks at the post office, so I'm gonna go pick them up. Now these are meat birds that I'm raising for another farm. Uh, they end up selling them at another farmer's market. So I'm gonna go pick those up and get them situated in the brooder. Rainy day here. So that means I won't be able to do any farm stuff outside, but I will go ahead and make some more chicken water buckets. One thing, uh, this is my second batch that I'm raising for a farmer that focuses mainly on pasture-raised beef, and he really likes what I'm doing with pasture poultry and the methods that I use, and he is able to sell it at a farmer's market that he's able to get a better price for the things. Um, he's closer to Indianapolis than where we're located, so he's able to um, offer the premium product at a premium price. When you have baby chicks, you get to know your male persons at the post office. I usually, when I get the call, I usually try to pick them up pretty, pretty quickly because I don't want them to have to spend the entire day at the post office with hearing chirp, 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 chirp. Now my client ended up purchasing these birds, uh, so they're not from cackle hatchery it's basically it was based on what chicks were available and these were available he got a wide variety of ones from Meyer hatchery out of Ohio so they shipped on Wednesday and today's Thursday so that's pretty quick turnaround on being able to get them here. With Cackle Hatchery, it's typically they ship on a Wednesday, they come on a Friday. Rain's definitely coming down. We're getting uh, 70 baby chicks. So that I'll probably put in two of the brooder sections. And if the rain if the weather ends up being nice, I hope to be able to get these baby chicks out on pasture um, within a week. Because of the warmer weather, I don't want them getting too hot in the barn. And I like to get them on the grass <coughs> as soon as possible. And that's not an option when it comes to the first batch of meat birds just because we have to start them in February and there's still snow on the ground in February. So I'm pulling up to the post office.
got them and we're headed back to the farm. Then later today I got some more bucket orders to fulfill. We got about 10 of them to make. And I recently prototyped out a two bucket portable hand washing station. How it works is the bottom bucket you fill up with water, preferably warm water. Then uh, there's a tubing that comes out of it and then there's like a rubber ball um, transfer pump that when you squeeze it, it will pump liquid. So then that pumps it up to the top bucket and then there is a little reverse osmosis faucet up in there. And then, um, and basically I have it set to where that locks in the open position. And then you just step on the little pump and it will pump water up. And then in the top bucket, that's where your used water will be and I found this it looks like a aquaponics thing that um, fits in a five gallon bucket and it kind of works as like a little sink strainer that way um, you don't have to drop any bars of soap down in there or any trash um, and this really came about because at least at our farmer's market, they're requiring every vendor to have a hand washing station. And since my wheelhouse kind of with this farmer Brad making automatic chicken water buckets is tubing and buckets and putting them together. And so um, I'm using some of my uh, transportation channels of getting the buckets and, and production lines in order to make it a reality. So yesterday I got the first prototype done and feel pretty comfortable with it. Um, and put it on my website for sale. Now right now I'm only doing it for on-farm pickup or delivery to the Wayne County, Indiana area at this time. Um, because I want to build out some more before and sell those before I figure out how much the shipping and the boxes and all of that. Because um, if I'm gonna buy boxes, I typically buy them in the 25 realm. So I want to have like 10 of these wash stations sold before I try to um, start shipping them but I would I would guess that they'd probably be around a hundred dollars um, to cover the shipping anywhere in the United States uh, right now they're listed at seventy dollars and that's partly to uh, it's mainly for the parts but then also um, the time it takes to make them and I haven't fully streamlined that process yet. But yeah, I'll quickly get these placed in the brooder and then I'll come back and get it uh, fully, fully set up. Um, there's 70 of them. Just so that they don't stomp on each other, I'm probably gonna do like, 35 and 35 in each of the sections. It just kind of depends. I'm only gonna, I'm just gonna put them all in this area right now. I don't want them roaming all over the place and then I'll get them set up 
a little bit later. But uh, here we go. I think that will be enough space for them right now and then I gotta get their water and feeders set up now it's uh, pretty rainy out uh, also when I go to the store I'm gonna get some spare light bulbs since it's not the beginning I'll try to get like 150 to maybe 200 watt heat lamps nothing uh, too intense now I'm at the local farm store and if you look at this top row, this is all the various chicken waters that are available on the market currently. And as you can see, this is why I created the automatic chicken water bucket. None of these refill automatically. One gallon um, water, two, two of those. Um, and you may ask me why would Farmer Brad purchase those for the brooder? And I tell you the truth is because they're pretty dirt cheap and I only need them to get me by for a week or two in the brooder. They charge me uh, $3.50 a piece. Um, I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but... Um, it is what it is and honestly uh, if I was to build a solution in the brooder for me I would build a five gallon bucket well I would have a five gallon bucket and then I would put on uh, I have these large water cups that stop flowing with from the weight of the water and but those are about ten dollars a piece and I would put four of those on a five gallon bucket and so that would have me invested forty dollars into it for one or two weeks to get them by um, I'm I just bought the dirt cheap one gallon waters to uh, get them by in the brooder and I also wanted to let you guys know that I am planning on retiring from raising meat birds for a few years um, the thought is that my kids aren't old enough to help substantially with the chores and since this is not my full-time job and it's my side hustle um, I think I really need to focus on hatching out baby chicks and innovating with poultry water solutions because that is where there's a lot more payoff um, with a short amount of time. So with meat birds, it takes about eight to 10 weeks for those to get processed. And with baby chicks, the turnaround's 21 to 25 days. And I'm sure I won't have too much difficulty selling the baby chicks. And if I don't sell them right away, then I'll be able to sell them for 10 to $15 if they're uh, beyond pullet age. 
but um, yeah, so that's the that's the game plan right now. Is that after I have one more batch of meat birds that I'm raising personally, and then all of my pre-order customers, um, their birds are in the freezer, and then I'll have a few extra to sell at the market, but I'm basically switching over my business strategy to raising baby chicks and focus on building out more chicken waters um, and building up my inventory with that and growing my YouTube channel as well. I mean, there will still always be projects to do on the farm. I mean, I feel like a farm is never done with projects um, and improvements and making things better. Um, in upcoming videos, I do plan on putting together a 16 by 24 foot uh, chicken run area. Um, and then I got a best nest box roll out nest box that I need to put together and that will be able to handle probably about 45 birds um, and that will be good and let's see yep so um, if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel I'm Farmer Brad and I've been on YouTube since 2015 and I've been building automatic chicken waters since 2015 and always improving. Uh, definitely open to customer feedback and that's why I redesigned it in 2018. And in 2020, I came out with a four gallon version, a heated, built-in heated version of the automatic chicken water bucket. And I'm working on a rabbit automatic rabbit water and uh, the other thing is I'm gonna try to bring back the mighty micro chicken water um, I just have to find the right PVC in order so I don't have to modify the float valves because if you've seen some recently I've had to modify the float valve so the float can be in a uh, tighter angle than the default and in order for me to have production speed up I don't want to be customizing or modifying the float valves themselves so checking in on the broody hen <laughs> The Meyer Hatchery sent this uh, grow gel plus B. So I'm gonna add that, uh, you add a little bit of water in there and then I'm gonna add that on top of their feed. Okay, gonna fill this up. Mix this up.
this is probably similar to like those uh, gel packs that athletes <laughs> squirt in their mouth before they have a uh, competition. Okay, so I'm placing that in a level spot. Then dunk their head, their be beaks into the water. So they know what that is. And as I mentioned earlier, now it's raining. Looks like it's gonna be a good downpour for a while. So I placed the other water there. Now I'm gonna get a uh, feed trough in here. And it will take no time for them to fill this up with wood shavings. So if you have uh, bricks to spare, in this case, maybe I can just put this underneath there to raise it up a little bit. And then that way I'll keep some of the shavings out. So now I've placed the Feed trough in the middle. I'm going to squeeze out that goo. See if I can squeeze it out like icing. don't want them to bunch up so I'm going to raise up the lights I think they might just be a little too hot And there you have it, our chicken brooder setup for the newest batch of birds. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.